those records was probably with Nipsey, five records on the radio. Same records that was out before. Right. That's the only thing I'm saying. Not know we get it because we loved him, so we get that part. I'm just saying for me, for them to come now and spin that like that is crazy to me. I don't I don't want that. When I first started doing music, I was opening up for Tupac. Mm. They ain't won't see me. Right. I had one fan. I had one dude in the audience. Body, body. Yeah. I said, I'm going to take that one and turn that into millions. You, and you did. And I did. You did. I, I sold over 100 million records independent. But guess what? Jeez. At the beginning, nobody believed. 100 million records, Pete? Yeah. Independent. independent. On the 85, 15? Yeah. My goodness. Yes. You made a way like a bandit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but My that's what, goodness. you know what? But All of you young SoundCloud rappers, please understand the significance of this yeah. deal. Now, me, I pride myself on being a guy who never really did a bad deal in my life. Uh, my first deal I signed was to the face. It was a 16-point deal, mm-hmm. which was much better than yeah. most motherfuckers yeah. were getting. They was getting 12s and 14s. Someone's was getting 16. 7%. You dig what I'm saying? But after... L.A. didn't really, the merger happened. Mm -hmm. He dissolved LaFace, became the president of Arista. That whole thing went on. My shit, he didn't really, like, he didn't understand what it was doing. He knew Mm -hmm. it was something, but it ain't finna, you know, get in the way of this Tony Braxton outcast Mm -hmm. TLC business I'm doing. This Usher business I'm doing. So, I basically said, man, I got a vision. I see this shit gonna work. I know what I got. Either give me two million or let me go. Motherfucker let me go. Yeah. But he let me go like when I was at my fucking hottest. Mm-hmm. I was a free agent, had my picker, mm-hmm. whatever kind of deal I could do. Yeah. And she I landed on a a, a multi million a multi million dollar uh joint venture, mm-hmm. 50 50 net profits deal with with Atlantic. But think about it, if you never And nobody through. else had that shit yeah. back then. But like, you had to I go through something. That. But you had to go through something. I saw after I got into that back and forth with LaFace or Aris and yeah. other shit. And I said, oh, so I really have to depend on these motherfuckers yeah. liking my shit? Yeah. yeah. And I didn't like that. So I took matters into my own hands. I started calling PDs and, and promoters, mm-hmm. paying for my own self. And I was making street money and shit. So I had enough money to... Get some vans and go yeah. to motherfucking Augusta, or yeah. go to motherfucking put it out there. Columbia, South Carolina. So mm-hmm. I started doing my own thing and repackaged, started making motherfucking mixtapes and shit. And lo and behold, this shit started making its way back up into the building. Mm-hmm. These motherfuckers turned their back on me after my shit came out. I ain't heard shit from them. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, their phone started ringing. I'm like, uh, Tip, uh, you got something going on down there, don't you? <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. So give yeah. me $2 million. Yeah. Or let me go. Yeah. And they let me go. And well, that's you, when I got my net profits deal. Yeah. And that shit still feeds my children. Yeah. Today. yeah that, let me tell you something. Anybody that's listening to this that want to be in the music business, don't be afraid to take a fall or a stumble because mm. it's not over. With no struggle, there's no progress. Exactly. And think about it. But look look what you educated yourself for. The next the next move you was making, Man. you already knew. So that's what I tell. You. So think but about if this. not for you, I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't even know to go in there and do that deal. Yeah. I wouldn't know to go ask for that. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. See, I didn't ask for the deal that you asked for. Yeah. Cause I want me a little money in my pocket yeah. too. You dig <laughs> what I'm saying? So <laughs> I was like, All right, well, let me get a, just enough of this. Yeah. To maintain yeah. equal ownership yeah. in my art, but I want a bankroll as well. So let me tell you something, everybody that's listening. Every deal ain't for everybody. The deal that I have is not fair. Because you think about it, the deal that I had, it was work, work, work. I had to put in yeah. all the work. And you put your own money up front. I put up my front. own money up front. You didn't go in there asking nobody to yeah. goddamn yeah. invest in your belief. Yeah. You went yeah. in with your own money and said, all I need you to do is press this shit up, yeah. get it out there, and yeah. I'm going to do the rest. Yeah. And that's a lot of work. Yeah. It is a lot of work because, like you say. That's a lot of responsibility also responsibility. to assume at such a, at such a young age. Yeah. So you think about it, I'm flying to all these places, whether it's Circus City, Kmart, Walmart. Right. I have to do the business meeting with them. Yeah. This is my product. So you, but Master P as an artist and as a like a record company, company mogul, yeah. you were your own manager? Yeah. What? Yeah. 
So you uh, negotiated your tools, and you all your radio everything. budget. You you did that. I did it myself. That's fucking. That shit there is yeah. impressive. Yeah. yeah, man. Hey, man. I think that all the youngsters in the game, you know, what I'm saying they benefit from this kind of testimony. Yeah. Because, of course, I have my own way, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Of course, they look at me and be like, man, T.I., that shit was forever ago. Yeah. Cool, dude. Yeah. But guess what? Yeah. I'm not depending on this motherfucking uh, uh, record industry to make yeah. me relevant. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. I live a hell of a life. I'm yeah. a cold motherfucker with or without any, anything. Yeah. 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 You got there and reduced me back to tip, and yeah. I'm still the motherfucking shit. Yeah. And, and guess what? But you put the work in and you made the sacrifices. Absolutely. And you understand. Nobody can validate me. Exactly. I already know, man. When I rolled out of bed, I woke up, rolled out of bed, man. Yeah. I put my feet on the motherfucking floor and I was I was me. So, Tip, let me tell you something. First, w- b- I gotta, before any of this let shit. Me, let me tell you something. Like today. Why you think I came to do this? Which I got a million things going on. I'm shooting a million movies, doing all this stuff. Right on. But when you have respect for people. It ain't about money. You have respect for people. I don't care if you came before you or after you or whatever. For me, I don't mind giving that respect to the people that I truly, genuine like to be Absolutely. like. Absolutely. Likewise in return. You see what I'm saying? Likewise so in return. So it ain't no, they can't give me nothing or say, Pete, nobody wake me don't up to come. Don't nobody need, you don't need a motherfucker to give you shit. I ain't, I don't. You sold hundreds and millions yeah. of records at the 85, but, 15 years yeah. straight for the rest of your motherfucking <laughs> yeah. life. Yeah. I know my little fifty fifties is getting yeah. me. Yeah. I can imagine what your motherfucking uh eighty five fifteens is getting you. But you know me, let me tell you something about me. What what uh keeps me going. Man, I, I love the next generation. I wanna right. I wanna empower them. And that's right. for me, the philanthropy the, the philanthropy work that I do is more important than the other stuff for I me feel right that. now. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm in the for-profit business, but you know yeah. what I'm saying? I like doing things. Yeah. I like to do well. Well, if it, guess what? If you, if, you, if you don't make no money, you can't give none. The best way to be of service to underserved people yeah. is to not become one. Yeah, exactly. I can't help you, goddamn. Yeah, I ain't, but I can't help I, myself. If I need help, yeah. shit. Yeah. So, well, you know, I've been, I've been blessed. I've, yeah, been, I've been blessed. We all have. I've been blessed, and I thank the man, and I'm. But you, know, you opened the door for motherfuckers like me yeah. to be blessed. Yeah. Like you, really, you, like you really paved the way and kind of like yeah. developed a master plan yeah. of a blueprint for a nigga at the ghetto in the south to yeah. follow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you know what? In that that would be competitive to the the bad boys, yeah. to the Russell Simmons, yeah. to the Murder Inks. Yeah. To the Rockefellers, yeah. and well, you me, just a nigga from the projects in New Orleans. Exactly. Let me tell you something, but that's why I take my hat off to Lil J and, and, and Uncle Luke. Because think about it, I realize the Godfather. Yeah, we the we have, to, we have to celebrate Uncle them Luke, people. Yeah, Tony and, Draper, and, and Tony Draper. You know, I, and, J, I didn't, and Jay Prince and Jay Prince because I didn't come from. The West Coast or the East Coast. I don't man, know that life. Man, you know what I'm saying? What? When, I was, when I was in the club, Tip, when I see Jay Prince come through there, I'm like, who that? Hey, man, we were the midgets <laughs> yeah. who stood on the shoulders of yeah, giants. Yeah, you dig yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And we, we should never forget that. Yeah, and, you know and, what I mean? And I think that's why my blessings keep coming because I know I have to celebrate these people that came before me. Sure. You know, I don't matter how much I done made. I, don't, I, I probably done pass people up. I don't look at it like that. But my thing is, what I do is, I know without them people, it wouldn't be me. You dig what I'm saying? Straight up. Yeah. You know. I think that your legacy, man, it definitely speaks volumes to, yeah. you know, what you've been able to establish yourself as a representation of this culture. Yeah. That shit is, you know, it's monumental. Yeah. And yeah. that yeah. shit should be. Yeah. It should, it should be acknowledged. Yeah. Nah, man. I, you know what? But I don't look for that. Well, I you ain't got to look for it. Guess what? Because I don't either. <laughs> yeah. It's just, yeah. it shit should be Yeah, you know what? Let me tell you something. What I, was, I ain't going to lie what I was disappointed about. So, tell you know, me, me. me and Nipsey Hussle was tight, man. Right. And uh, this is a dude that I looked at like he deserved all that Why? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, to see yeah. everything that he gave this man after he was gone. Think, it, well, was cra- it was crazy. You know, we, we get it. But this I'm is like, the thing, though, bro. 
like, you know, those of us who are most directly in tune mm -hmm. with the minutiae mm -hmm. of what the fuck Nipsey represented, mm -hmm. we are going to, yeah. we're going to absorb it. We're going to get it first. Mm -hmm. I can't really blame them because they didn't get it at the same time I got it. They not pulled to. They ain't in tune. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I feel you. Uh, but I feel like when he passed, what happened was he kind of transcended yeah. the physical yeah. of, like, now this shit is something totally different. Yeah. This shit is yeah. it's bigger than, you know. Yeah, you know, mean, but for me, I ain't going to lie to you. For And me. it reached so, it, it made an impact on so yeah. many more people because of it. Yeah. Now, it was supposed to, but I'm just saying, you know, like, say, for instance, we home, but you know, like, what this person about. Sure. And you just want... For for us, you you done felt the glory of selling millions of records. Sure, this man never felt, and he know these. But did. the thing is, he didn't need that. That ain't. Yeah. The, I remember having the conversation with him because, mind you, the marathon store. Mm -hmm. He started selling mixtapes in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Then he became a uh, uh, a tenant as yeah. a renter fee. Yeah. And he 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 began to rent more yeah, and more and take, uh, and take, uh, over, take, take and over the building. He was talking to me, asking me like, you know, what I'm saying how to develop intellectual property, how to kind of like. He saw what I did with with, with Hustle Gang because yeah. the shit started as a merch item and then we turned it into a full brand. Yeah. And he like, yo, how did you take that shit that started as a hoodie and turn that shit yeah. into like. You know yeah. what I mean? So we began to talk about you know manufacturing distribution, yeah. like how to. But I told him, like, to be honest with you, what I did was I had a vision, and I went and partnered with some motherfuckers mm -hmm. who could do the work in the areas that I ain't familiar yeah. with, yeah. like the distributions and manufacturing and so on and so forth. Yeah. And I just get a healthy percentage. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But he say, no, 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 I'm yeah. going to do the shit myself. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. tell me how. Yeah. So I gave, you know what I mean? Yeah. Of course, we gave him a line on the manufacturer that we had in China. Yeah. I'm like, man, I don't call these people, but here, if yeah. you want them, here they are. Yeah. And he like, yeah. shit, man, I'm going to do this shit myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, cool, shit. Yeah. It, and it was impressive to see the tenacity mm -hmm. that he took. All of the things that I said to him, that Puff said to him, that Jay yeah. said to him, that yeah. you, like yeah. everybody said yeah. to him, and he took and, 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 and motherfucking, he manifested that shit yeah. into. Nah, he molded, he molded you himself into what, I'm saying? what, yeah. But this is what I was saying, right? That shit hasn't been done since Pac. Yeah, yeah. No, so it, whether it, he got the chance to absorb the feeling of selling me as a record, that shit don't mean the impact. Nah, so, so, so always, I remember him telling me, because after he became a tenant, I said, man, now you got to buy the building. Yeah, nah, he said, he man, won't. they won't sell it to me, cuz. Yeah, yeah, I said, yeah. man, you got to send somebody else in there and talk to me. Yeah, yeah. And then I remember he was uh, doing press, I think, with Victory Lap Draw, or either about the Grammy nomination, I forget. And he he and, and we was going out to the club because you know of course he tap in when he when he in the A uh -huh. and we just linked up and so you know we were sitting in the valet waiting on the car to come around he say you won't believe this shit cuz I'm like what I got it mm -hmm. the building mm -hmm. it's mine mm -hmm. I say boy you that's you yeah. Well, you know, you know, you killed the game. You could come from the streets, and but I remember do. the, I remember the satisfaction. I remember yeah. how empowered he felt yeah. by coming back yeah. telling me that after yeah. I told him yeah. you need to do that, and he said, yeah. "Man, I don't know how," and yeah. he went and figured that no, shit out, but made he, it happen. And when he told me, yeah, you feel that good shit about was just as good as yeah. selling a million records. Yeah. Yeah. That shit meant but more you know than what him he going he ten times platinum. He, he, he educated I, himself too. I assure you. Yeah, yeah. And I think that you know, right now, all of his studying, all of yeah. his practices, yeah. all of you know the things that 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 he implemented and he was able to kind of pass down uh, to the next generation. That shit gonna live on forever. Yeah. No, I'm 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 definitely proud of that. To be honest, which I'm proud of that. I'm I'm proud of what he was able to do, and you know, it's more of a a media thing with me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because think about it, just like you being who you is, you mm -hmm. might come up with the hottest record right now, mm -hmm. but just because they think your time is over with, 
they ain't going to accept it. Think about it. They ain't. They they don't determine what the fuck go yeah. on with me. I get it, Tip. I get that part. They don't determine what I get it. It ain't up to them. Nah. So, it ain't up to you, Jack. Nah. But guess you, what? But you what ain't I'm, no motherfucking judge but what I, jury on my goddamn but, determining but what fact. I'm, but what I'm saying, though, if you have the highest record, like right now, those records was probably with Nipsey, five records on the radio. Same records that was out before. Right. That's the only thing I'm saying. Not, no, we get it because we loved him, so we get that part. I'm just saying for me, for them to come now and spin that like that is crazy to me. I don't, I don't want that. I feel, me. Man, I'm just telling you, I don't want that. You real. ain't going to have no choice. Damn. No matter how much love they show you today, <laughs> they can show you all the love. Yeah, I don't just want Just like that. right now, I'm telling you, man, hats yeah. off, salute. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, you deserve to be celebrated yeah. and yeah. applauded yeah. for your work. Yeah. I'm telling you that right now in your face. Yeah. Still, you die today. Yeah. That shit going to be 10 times over tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Period. Yeah. Uh, ain't no way around I, that. I get it. I get it. It's just some, I ain't into that fake love. You know what I'm saying? Man, it ain't fake. It's real for the motherfuckers to receive it at that moment in their yeah, life when yeah. they was yeah, that's, but that's why. It. But that's why my circle's so small, to yeah. be honest. Which, well, everything okay. ain't for everybody, it's just right. like you said. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, you right. Yeah. You know? <laughs> everything ain't for everybody. Yeah.